Ed Richards, CEO of UK regulator Ofcom, has been speaking at the Dynamic Spectrum Access Forum in Brussels. He confirmed the exponential demand for wireless data and called for bold and decisive action when it comes to spectrum management. Provocatively, Richard seemed to be suggesting that the UK would lead white space development not only in Europe, but globally. I caught up with Professor William Webb after the presentation for some analysis. William, so what was the purpose of this uh, conference? It was primarily to help European regulators and the European Commission gather as many views as possible about the importance of white space and what is happening there in order that they could decide on their next steps, and in particular, how they should move forward in developing national and international white space regulation. And why was the appearance of Ed Richards, the Ofcom CEO, so noteworthy? Because it's very unusual for someone of such seniority to come to this kind of a conference, especially when it involves travelling to a different country. It's very unusual for Ed to turn up at a conference that's anything other than a very high level event. And so the significance of him appearing here shows just how important this is on Ofcom's agenda. Ofcom has many things on its plate, not just Spectrum related, and it was quite a surprise to many, I think, to realise just how highly they judge the importance of white space Spectrum. Maybe you can summarise for us what it was that Ed said. Ed stressed the importance of white space Spectrum access as a mechanism to resolve the impending data crunch, as a way to encourage innovation in Spectrum, and as a way to enable lots of important new applications, such as the machine-to-machine -machine application, for which there is no other spectrum foreseen apart from white space. He also stressed the importance of white space access as a spectrum management method of the future for many other spectrum bands, and said this was of such importance to the UK that it was going to press ahead with its legislation in this area, but that it very much hoped that other European countries and the European Commission would follow alongside it because as Ed rightly acknowledged harmonisation in this kind of area is very important. So it was a call for arms to the other regulators within Europe to adopt the same approach as Ofcom and move ahead rapidly to enable white space spectrum access. And what do you think will change as a result of the conference and Ed's remarks? So in the UK I expect to see Ofcom now moving ahead rapidly with a number of statements and papers and legislation that will enable white space access. But perhaps more significantly, I would now expect there to be much more urgency amongst other European regulators and amongst the European Commission to define their position on white space, to put in place a team to actually make it happen and to start issuing the kind of consultations and documents that regulation requires in order to make this access possible throughout the whole of Europe. What does this mean for Weightless then? Well, Weightless can access many different spectrum bands, but white space is foreseen as its first deployment. So it's important for anyone considering deploying a Weightless network or using Weightless that they have white space availability as, in as many countries as possible from next year onwards, which is when we expect the first Weightless systems to be available. What this conference shows is that there is a strong drive from the regulators to make this happen and I think that means that all those interested in waitlist technology need not worry overly about white space availability it will almost certainly become available before it's needed by those deploying waitlists. Okay and what do you expect to happen next? So I expect to see many regulators putting out statements and positions I expect to see many interested parties working with the regulators to help them in this area. And I expect to see the European Commission developing position papers and a number of European Commission officials speaking on this space. And in general, the profile of white space rising up the agenda rapidly over the next few months. Given that Ed Richards has encouraged Europe to follow Ofcom's lead, what can other interested parties do to help them? Well, it always helps regulators to have as many interested parties as possible involved in the regulatory process, providing input documents, providing viewpoints, and helping with the work that's needed. But it's much better for the regulator to have those parties working together in some consolidated fashion than it is to have multiple players giving them lots of differing advice. So I would encourage anyone interested to join the waitlist SIG and to get involved in that regulatory subgroup where we can make a real difference to how fast and how well white space regulation is enabled throughout Europe. And where would people go to learn more information? Waitlist has its own website, waitlist.org, 
And I would strongly encourage anyone interested in the machine-to-machine -machine space, whether that be applications or network operation or equipment provision, to take a look at that and to join us and to make waitlist the global standard for machine communication systems.